Bird coming off the screen. Johnson goes inside. Oh! Try to get it over Kareem, and Kevin McHale is there for the offensive rebound in the basket. Well, they watched the film, the Celtics. As soon as Kareem moved for the block, they just threw it up there for an easy pass. Scott. Byron Scott started to get a little heated up, and now they're going to call a foul on Eves. He knocked Magic Johnson down. Never see Magic Johnson so serious looking at the start of the game. Never, but there's Danny Ainge. That was kind of an ill-advised pass by Parrish to begin with. Excuse me, McHale to begin with. Magic was serious even during the pre-game introduction. Kareem beats Scott. No! Tipped in by Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. The Celtics were claiming it was offensive interference, offensive goaltending, and it's 8-6 to six L.A. Worthy guarding Bird. And an illegal defense called against the Lakers. Byron Scott was the man who was playing the zone. Now they're trying to clog up the middle and provide a lot of protection against McHale. Second time that's called a technical foul, of course. Danny Ainge hits from outside. Danny Ainge has disappeared from the Celtic offense since the first period of game one. Can't do anything about that pass. Magic to Kareem. That's what the Lakers do well. Once Magic gets below the foul line, he finds people. Eight and a half to play, opening period. Parrish. McHale trying to save it, and it is still Boston ball as Rambis and Magic were fighting for it inside. The Celtics are at 50% and the Lakers are better. And the Celtics have diversified their offense. They're not going to McHale as much as they have in prior games. Parrish has gotten involved inside. Off the rim. Here come the Lakers trying to run. Three on two. Worthy. Celtics played him well, Tommy, but Worthy got inside. Well, he jumps over everybody. Loose ball, and the L.A. comes up with it again. Rambert with a four-point Laker lead. Magic and Ainge with contact. Scott misses and Paris the rebound. And the tempo has been set for this fourth game, which means so much for both teams. Boston's getting back fast to try and stop that speed of the Lakers, and they're doing it effectively. A 20-second timeout has been called, I believe, by the Celtics. We're going to see Worthy at his best. Good up fake. Lifts people. McHale can't get at it. Once he gets close to the basket, he goes over people. They waved off the 20-second timeout, so the Celtics inbound. 12-8, to 8, Lakers lead. Ames, long-range shot. McHale gets the offensive glass, and that's a big basket for the Celtics. Well, Magic ended up trying to block McHale out. No hope there. That's McHale's second offensive rebound in this first period. Double on Worthy, foul, and McHale fouls James Worthy. McHale takes advantage of everything. You'll see now there has to be a little switch here, but McHale goes over Rambis with those long arms. You really have to keep him about five feet away from the hoop to effectively block him off. You think the Lakers will be going at McHale since he has two personals now? Well, that's what the Celtics have been shielding for the entire playoffs. Get McHale in early foul trouble and Parrish in early foul trouble. The lead is four by the Lakers. Bird, fake on Worthy. And Larry Bird is two for two. Around Kareem, Ainge is on Scott. Rambis gets three on the weak side. With all this double teaming on Kareem, there's lots of men open, and he's smart enough to pick out the right one. Six and a half minutes remaining in the first period of game four. The double bird now, Johnson is left open. And the Celtics are going to have to hit those shots when there's a solo man outside. Uh, look at all those yellow jerseys below the foul line against that Celtic offense. Worthy. Kareem is there. And on a 
first layup draws the personal foul. The foul is on Larry Bird. The problems Larry Bird has had shooting in the playoffs. He started out well against Cleveland and has gone down, although the Lakers, he's 44%, but that's way below he's, what he's used to. Tonight, he's hit both of his shots. And in fact, the Celtics have hit four for seven in outside shooting, which is a good sign for them. But th they need Larry Bird's outside shot. And more for morale purposes right now than anything else. Ultimately, uh, when they start to guard him close, they can use Ainge to pick off his man, and then Magic will have to come out and switch on to him. So he, all by himself, can destroy the Laker defensive game plan. By the way, Bird is the first non-center to win back-to-back -back MVP awards in the league. Quite a distinction in its own right. Kareem hits the free throw. You know, so far in this series, it's been an easy one for Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. The Celtics have not been able to provide the torture test that the Western Conference teams have been able to do. Nearly halfway through this opening period. It's been close. Celtics had a lead at one time of 6-4. to four. Otherwise, it's been Los Angeles in front. 11 on the shot clock. Bird is 3-for-3 three three now from the field. And it's 18 to 16. Celtics showing patience. One way to stop the Laker break. The favorite one, according to Casey Jones. Magic Johnson doesn't get the roll, and Bird gets another rebound. The break is there. The Celtics will certainly try to take advantage. Ainge is open in the corner. <laughs> Rambis to Scott. And Rambis has done a terrific job off the boards for the Lakers. The Celtics quickly back on that one. Magic misses, and here's Dennis Johnson. Larry Bird. Fall away. That's his first miss, but there's Parrish. And Parrish is tied up by Magic Johnson, who makes a fine play on the Celtics' seven-foot center. Well, as a guard, he's an exceptional rebounder, and that's the advantage that they've been having, Magic being in close there to provide three-on-two rebound against the Lakers, uh, Celtics. Dennis Johnson up on the point. He really has not had one of his famed money games. He's an outstanding playoff performer. Bird on a fake misses the shot. Rambis clears. Bird is now three for five in the ball game. Under five minutes to play, first period. Coming out of a screen is Byron Scott. Short. Tipped loose to Worthy. Scott hits a three-pointer for Byron Scott. And it's a five-point Laker lead, and their biggest lead of the ballgame. Close rebounding battle, usually it's told the tale in this battle, and the fight between these teams, and the Celtics have a 9-7 edge. Paris comes right back. There's McHale. He has converted three offensive rebounds for basket so far. Worthy is triple team. They're going to give Rambis the outside shot, which he probably won't take, but Magic will. Over the top, Celtic ball. Well, the Lakers outside shooting evaporating a little bit other than Scott. Four minutes to play in the first period. Celtics had a four-point lead after one of Sunday's game three. Dennis Johnson with a real neat penetration. And the Lakers not moving their feet defensively. Scott going right back for two. That's twice Scott has done that. He's beaten the Celtics down the court for a layup after the Celtics score. They're really looking for Scott quickly on the outlet to let him take it the length of the court with that hide-and-seek game.